Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, the most natural thing for a follower of Jesus to do is offer up praise. I mean, there's so many reasons to praise God. And our psalm today, Psalm 8, is all about praise. Listen to what he says. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I mean, God's name is the greatest name in all the earth. It's, it's so easy to elevate and lift up the name of the Lord. I mean, after all, Jesus has been given the name that is above every name. So we want to praise his name. And then the psalmist goes on. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. In other words, God uses the weak and insignificant to confound the strong and the powerful. And, and that's kind of how the gospel is. In fact, the, the Apostle Paul says God chose the weak things of the world to confound the strong and the uh, foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So God isn't impressed with our credentials or our power or our money. He really just is interested in our hearts. And then the psalmist goes on to say, When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place... What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? He, he, he says, look, nature declares the power and the majesty of God. I can't help but see it when I look at the beauty and the grandeur around me. And, and when I see the beauty of nature, when I see the awesomeness of nature, and it makes me aware of how insignificant I am and yet how important I am that God himself, the creator of heavens and earth, thinks about me. And he's thinking about you. And so, of course, we want to praise him for that. And then he goes on to say this, Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. Now, this has kind of got a double uh, meaning, if you will. First of all, even though we're, we're insignificant, yet God has empowered us to rule the earth. He's given us dominion as people over the earth because we're made in the image of God. But it's also foreshadowing the rule and reign of Jesus as the Son of Man, whom God puts all things under his feet. And when he says, what is man that you're mindful of him and the Son of Man that you care for him? It's a, it's a reference to the future Son of Man who will bear our sins and then God will exalt him to the name that is above every name. And then, of course, the psalm ends once again with that refrain, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. So today I pray that you can easily celebrate and praise God, that you can exalt the name of Jesus and you can live a life, your life, in such a way that draws people to the Son of Man, to the Son of God, the Savior of the world. I hope that blesses you, and I hope it helps you follow Jesus. God bless.